piece could live think fast. So being in Louisiana, <laughs> matter of fact, you get a lot of this like uh, the rain vibe with the sun still being out. But like uh, I thought about the, the expression, the devil beating his wife. And I kind of was about to go into pondering, you know, where that came from. And instantly I started kind of, not kind of getting the downloads on, let's just say one of the reasons. I don't know if the person who David the phrase, the devil's beating his wife, uh, had this in mind, but I know this has something to do with it. But the devil beating his wife is also the concept of the sunlight. So say for instance, the devil beating his wife is usually in Louisiana or, or anywhere, I guess. That's the terminology, but I know we use that out here whenever it's raining and the sunshine at the same time and also when you see a rainbow. So to add things up, because the rainbow is the black eye, but let me let me finish dripping the sauce. <laughs> The sunlight, you know what I'm saying? That that solar energy, that hot Satan, hot. You know, Satan is Saturn, but uh, also, you know, Satan or the devil is also the sun of God. You know what I'm saying? That morning star. So anyway, you know, that 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 Satan, that 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 light from Satan, Lucifer, the the light bearer. You know, that light from the sun is uh, going through that feminine aspect, you know, beating his wife. So that son beating up, you know, the water. The water is a feminine aspect, you know what I'm saying? Female aspect. So that masculine sunlight is beating up that water, you know what I'm saying? And then the water end up getting a black eye, you know, as a rainbow, you know, uh, just like this, you know what I'm saying? And the, the rainbow is basically like a, a black eye, you know, on the devil's wife. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Deep science, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's the whole vibe of like, you know, oh, the devil beating his wife, you know, whenever we see the rainbow, whenever the sun, matter of fact, and you can kind of see now how the sun shining, but it's raining. <laughs> yeah, so say the devil beating his wife, but again, it's that that solar phallic energy, you know what I'm saying, which is a masculine aspect. And also, the sun is, is again, I tell uh, Yeshua, or what a lot of people know as Jesus, is one the same with Lucifer, you know what I'm saying? They both the morning star. They both are the son of God, you know what I'm saying? Which Lucifer, in essence, is the first son of God, the light bearer, you know, God in the, uh, you know, in the light of, getting into the material world and having a physical being, you know, uh, being a savior from that perfection. And then, you know, then the yellow part of uh, Christ energy bring us back into, you know, the connection with source, you know what I'm saying? The connection with God and that essence. But realizing it's a balance in between both, really, you know. It's not like, uh, like, because of how we talk about raising the Christ consciousness. We are raising the Christ consciousness but it's also, uh, I see a balance in just the being of both, you know what I'm saying? Which again, you can see the Christ and the devil also is a uh, masculine, feminine energy to a certain extent as well. You know, that's all it is, you know? But again, you know, when it's raining with the sun, I was like the devil beating his wife, you know? <laughs> that's what it is, that solar, that fact, solar phallic energy, you know, and pop a leg, but you know, the sun, goes with that energy but it's the uh the solar energy beating up the feminine aspect which is the water you know or the rain you know and causing a black eye beat beating his wife up till she get a black eye but and when you think about it, the more the sun is shining and with a lot of rain the the, the uh, stronger or how like i said the more visible the rainbow <laughs> in essence you know, so the more you know, they've been fighting in essence, you know, in that situation, the more you see you know, that black eye, quote unquote. <laughs> but the devil beating his wife. The download. <laughs> but that's basically it. And again, you know, the uh also remembering the the devil, that Lucifer. Everything breaks down into so many things. It's not just one thing. You can't just say Satan is Saturn, that's it. Like, nah, you know, Satan is Saturn. Satan is also, uh, I want to say, in Lil. 
and then Lucifer is Anki, you know, because Anki was the light bearer again. That, uh, you know, matter of fact, in the in the Anunnaki story with with Anki and then Lil, where Anki was the ones who woke, he was the one who woke the humans up to knowing that they are, you know, the son of God in human bodies. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, and then Lil was seen as Satan or Saturn. You know, so Anki was more like the the sun, you know, Lucifer, and and Lil was more like the Satan Saturn aspect, cause Saturn is creating boundaries, you know, really locking us down. Uh, you know, of course, again, Lucifer sharing, bearing the light to bring us into the physical world. So again, the energies are one and the same with Anki and Lil, but it's just two different aspects of the same thing, you know. Things to be aware of. You know, so many of the repeat stories, you know, like with the Christ energy, you know, somebody being raised up, like with, Eze I think it's Ezekiel in the wheels, you know, with the chakras and the Kundalini being, going, climbing the ladder. Or no, as Jacob, you know, climbing the ladder, you know, climbing the Kundalini. Also could be seen as climbing the DNA, you know. As above, so below, on so many levels. <laughs> Study the, the I'm going to say it the right way first. It starts Jehudi, Toh, you know, matter of fact, that's also uh, where they get David, you know, uh, and the whole Judah, you know, tribe of Judah, Jehudi, Judah, uh, David, that's all the same thing, you know what I'm saying? Almost in essence, sons of Toh. And then when the Greek and the Roman people got onto it, then they started calling them Hermes. Or, and, and matter of fact, really Toth. Toth was also uh, like a Greek word, I think, if I'm not mistaken. You know, and then, but what I was going to say, or what I am saying, <laughs> study the Hermetic principles. Like that's, that's the laws of the universe. Until we collectively get together and change them around, if, if so, you know, but until then, those laws are laws that nobody changes. Not the preacher, not, not even some beings that's on the higher realm, in essence. You know, like these things stand true. Again, until, you know, all this thought. So I feel like if it could change it, we all collectively change it. But, you know, that's a whole different topic that would last forever. <laughs> but, Peace, <laughs> happy now. Now's a vibrate, of course. Not too far in the future. Not too far in the past.